internet, we both know why you're here. This is going to be how to make a bald cap. I use liquid latex, a big fluffy brush, kind of a smaller fluffy brush, a white pencil, translucent setting powder, and makeup sponges, as well as a red bald cap uh, head form. This is the Cryolin Redhead. First I take my white pencil and I kind of map out exactly where I'm going to want my latex. I like to bring my bald caps basically all the way down to my neck because I, I mean, I feel like most of us kind of have like hair like on our, like your, your hair doesn't really stop like right on your head. Like it goes down a little bit. I can't be the only person that's like, so I like to bring mine all the way down. Once I have that mapped out, I get some of my latex and my makeup sponge and I just kind of start dabbing away. I start with the front and mainly around the edges and then I work my way around. This is a really patient process, so I recommend having your Netflix ready. Typical liquid latex too is thin enough that as you're wrapping up one side of the bald cap, um, once you go back over to the other side, it's already dry, so you don't really need to stop all of that often. If you're concerned about kind of like pucker marks or something like, you know, like bumps from the makeup sponge, you do have the option of when we remove the bald cap from the bald cap form, turning it uh, inside out and using the inside of it, which is much more smooth. And I do this for between seven to nine layers. The thicker it is, the easier it's going to be to remove. Um, also, if you get like any wrinkles in it or something, or like, you know, a part of latex that hasn't been powdered yet gets stuck to itself, um, it's easier to pull that apart. If it's a thinner bald cap, it's more likely to tear if you try to remove wrinkles. So now I'm taking some translucent setting powder. This is my favorite powder in the entire world. This is the Meron loose setting powder um, on our big fluffy brush. And you just kind of start going ham with that. You basically, you just want to completely cover this um, because fresh latex like this uh, if it has an opportunity to stick to itself and basically fuse to itself, it will. So we want to make sure this is completely covered and cannot stick to itself. Just in case you do have a, a scenario though where like a, a part of the bald cap that hasn't been powdered touches itself, again, you want it to be kind of a thicker bald cap um, because it's going to be way easier to pull that apart than to do it with some really uh, thin part of it. After you've completely powdered the outside, now we're going to take that smaller fluffy brush and again, some more powder, like your whole workspace is just going to be covered. And you're going to very carefully like start to peel up one edge. And as soon as you've got a part up, you're just going to start shoving powder in there. Again, being very, very careful because if there's a part of it that has not been powdered it, and it will touch itself, it is going to stick to itself and there's a chance that it will tear or you just can't remove it from itself and you're gonna have kind of a nasty wrinkle. So just work in tiny, tiny sections at a time and just drown this thing in more powder. I usually start around the edges And then once the edges are all done, we get to very carefully start from the back, uh, start peeling up the back of the bald cap. I'm going back to that big fluffy brush and you can just kind of peel up little sections. It's really obvious. I don't know how well you can tell, but it's, it's really obvious what parts have been powdered and which haven't. So you can just kind of move in these small strips. I also kind of like that there's actually like a stage in this where it kind of looks like your bald cap form is a nun. You'll you'll see what I mean. It looks like it looks like a habit. Habit. That's what it, the, the nun has. Right. That's what it looks like. And then as we get to the very end, there you could just straight up remove the the cap from the form and dust it off on your hand. And that is it. You've done it. You have done the thing. This has been P.T. Barpun for HalloweenMakeup.com. Whatever day it is that you're seeing this, I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you the next time I do video stuff. Bye.